we wanted to have a cinematic approach to the music to give it that scale and that those production values. But it's like doing 20 movies. <laughs> There's always something that is kind of moving along emotionally. It's never like treading water. It's never static. It's very different. So it requires a completely different mindset. Take the things that we love about the Halo scores that have come before and try to put that into it, but then also add in the things that really excite us. So we create something that's really honest. As intimidating it is to follow Marty's scores, I think I can bring something fresh to the game. there to be a journey, an felt journey, an emotional journey, and I think that's the part that music plays. He's an extremely competent and confident composer. He's got a real instinctive knack for knowing what sounds right, and he knows how to get there. Neil's a fan of Halo, and he's making something that he's really excited about for Halo. I know that's why Neil was attracted to do it, because they very much talked about that they wanted the integrity in the music as high as the integrity is going to be in the design of the game. He's a big fan of the franchise, and he's played all of our games from the beginning. I've been playing the game since 2001, and there's this mysterious guy behind the green suit of armor been intrigued as to what he feels. We were fortunate enough to inherit the expectation that the score would be lyrical, that it would be emotional, that the music would matter. He gets in here and you can't stop humming it, you can't stop thinking it. The melding of the classical with the unexpected that Neil brings, that makes for excitement. It has a lot of street cred within industry. You know, with his work with Massive Attack and stuff, he was absolutely at the cutting edge of sounds and beats and electronic textures and how he manipulates sound. He uses that sort of initial performance as a starting point. Maybe we can record this twice as fast so that we can slow it all down and pitch it down and it'll be live orchestra at Abbey Road, best conditions you can imagine. But we're going to subvert it a little bit. We're going to play it backwards or play it an octave down or run it through guitar amplifiers or things like that. We needed a music composer who can bring a mixture of digital and organic. I'm choosing the sounds very carefully and I'm processing the sounds as I'm writing. Listening to everything that we had as examples of what was already recorded, everything was treated differently. It's important to go for something that's never been done. Here's the obvious answer, okay, but there's something better we can do, there's something more original we can do. We're very aware of the legacy of the Halo sound and we're very keen to respect it. As Halo fans, we hope that other Halo fans will say, oh man, yeah, that's cool, I, I, I like it. It's not a revolution, it's an evolution of the past Halo scores.